In Rust, maintaining your health is an important skill and knowing how to best use the medical supplies you have will increase your chance of survival. Cloth and mushrooms are two commonly found resources and when used provide you with health. Each hemp plant will give you 10 cloth, enough for two bandages with two cloth spare. Mushrooms grow in patches and where you find one, you'll often find others. But while these are a free and easy to get resource, other medical supplies like the medical syringe are often a better choice for keeping you alive. Medical syringes are great as they provide instant health as well as healing over time. However, they first need to be learned and to craft them, they require a tier 2 workbench and some materials that you may not have yet. Ample low grade and metal throw. So I wanted to know as closely as possible, what is the poor man's medstick alternative? How many bandages and how many mushrooms do you need to match a medstick? Let's first look at what medsticks actually provide you. Medical syringes have a 3 second animation but when complete provide you instantly with 15 health. They then provide you with an additional 20 health on top of that, however this process as you'll see takes 42 seconds to complete, bringing the total amount of health per medical syringe to 35 in roughly 45 seconds. It's actually quite a lot of time to wait for health and mushrooms and bandages can easily outperform these numbers. In fact, if you were using bandages and mushrooms during those 45 seconds, instead of 35 health, you'd gain closer to 180 health at roughly 4 health per second. So because of that, I'm not looking at how many mushrooms and bandages we can consume in the same amount of time as a medstick. Instead, we're looking at what the minimum amount of bandages and mushrooms we need to provide us with the same amount of health gain in the quickest time possible. Let's break down the numbers a little. Mushrooms do not have an animation and take a fraction over a second to eat, they provide free health per mushroom straight away with no healing over time. Bandages have a just under 5 second animation and provide 5 health instantly when complete. This means that when using bandages and eating mushrooms at the same time, it's possible to get roughly 20 health every 5 seconds or 4 health per second. Now let's compare that against the medstick, and to do so let's first look at instant health. The only way to match the 15 health gain that the medsticks provide after the 3 second animation is by consuming mushrooms as the bandages take too long. We can eat 3 mushrooms in that time totalling 9 health, meaning we now have 42 seconds left to gain the remaining 26 health. So let's add our first bandage. This means that after 5 seconds we would have used 1 bandage and 5 mushrooms totalling 20 health. We now have 40 seconds left to gain the remaining 15 health which can easily be done. However this is where I came up with 2 alternative options. First option is to consume one more bandage and eat three more mushrooms. This in total will give us 34 health in 10 seconds, gaining 10 health from bandages and 24 from the mushrooms. The second option is to not use any more bandages and instead eat five more mushrooms. This will give us a total of 35 health in just over 10 seconds, gaining five health from bandages and 30 from mushrooms. But because I set out to find out what the best alternative to a medical syringe is and because the resource difference between these two options is so minimal, I've chosen to recommend option two. The medstick is great because it provides that instant health and healing over time, so rather than just two bandages that keep you locked into an animation for 10 seconds, you can simply use one bandage in just under 5 seconds and use the remaining 5 seconds to eat mushrooms while free to do stuff with your hands, giving you 35 health in just one fifth of the time. One bandage and 10 mushrooms is the early wipe medical syringe. This was mainly something I looked into out of just being curious, but I hope you found it interesting too. If you did, please like the video as it helps me out a lot and as always, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching.